Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at shopmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Today we've got a bit of a tech tip for you. We're going to be installing a brand new set of Pro Taper Micro Handlebars on a 2016 KTM 65 SX. Now we've already done a full breakdown video regarding the features and benefits of these brand new handlebars. If you want to check that out, click the information card above to watch that full video. But just as a quick recap, what they basically did was take the standard 7 8 grip, which is 22 millimeters, and taper it down to 17 millimeters to give the kids a better grip, reduce fatigue, and boost their confidence while riding. The kit also comes with a bunch of parts, which we'll get to in just a second. For now, we're going to hand it over to Eric so he can show you how to put the bars on. All right, so I'm going to show you how to install the Pro Taper Micro Bar Kit. It's really easy, and in fact, this is one of those things that it would be great to bring your kids in and show them how it's done because it's got really basic hand tools for the installation, so there's not really a whole lot they can get hurt with. Um, basically, all you're going to need is a couple box end wrenches or T-handles, um, probably an 8 and a 10 millimeter, screwdriver, safety wire pliers, wire cutters, some grip glue, and some safety wire. Um, basically, before you start, what you want to do is probably take some pictures of how everything is stock on the bike so that you can put everything back in the right position. So what I'd like to do is just use my uh, cell phone. So along with the cable routing, what you also want to take photos of and take note of is the control clamps and the bar clamps. So over here we have on the top, it says up. So when we go ahead and reassemble these, we want to make sure that this is pointed up, which would be forward then down on the bar clamps. Sometimes these are indicated by a little dot or an arrow as well, so you know which way to face the clamps when you reassemble them. So once you get all your pictures taken, then we can go ahead and start with disassembly. All right, so we're going to start by removing the stock controls on the bike. Like I said, this is a great project to get your kids involved with. There's not much damage they can do. Just keep an eye on them. Best thing to do is go ahead and crack the bolts, get them started, and then let them loosen them the rest of the way. Set everything aside because it will get reused. Now we are going to remove the throttle assembly. So we are going to pull this boot back out of the way so we can get access to the bolts and everything. Like so. Go ahead and remove this top cap. That way we have access to the throttle cable. Okay, so now be careful on this KTM. When you raise this cap up, there's a little wheel here, comes apart and there's a brass, little brass piece. Okay, so now you've got some slack in the throttle cable, you can pop the ferrule out from the uh, cam, like so, and you got your throttle loose. Now work on the two bolts down on the front side and separate the housing. Loosen these two bolts and then we can separate the throttle assembly. Slide the tube off, there we go. So now we've got plenty of room here so we can go ahead and slide the boot off of the bar like that and then just kind of let that hang down. And go ahead and hit the other side. Grab Phillips head, we can move the kill switch. Now we can go ahead and remove the bars from the clamps. Let's we'll start with the rear bolts. Get it loose like so. Rock that back. Give us room to the front. There you go. With the stock bars out of the way, we can now install the micro bars. So we go ahead and sit them on. B 
Because of that 7 8 inch diameter there, they'll fit perfectly in the clamps. And then we'll put the top clamp on. As you'll notice when you put the clamps on, well, on this bike actually, it kind of covers up your marks. So we'll just kind of have to eyeball it. Kind of get everything set in loose to start. We'll get the pullback kind of set up with the fork legs. All right, so now we'll have to use the open wrench to finish tightening these down a little bit. We're not going to tighten them all the way down. Next, we'll reinstall the um, kill switch and the clutch assembly. Once again, we're just going to kind of put everything on a little loose and then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down once it's all together. Make sure our clamp is facing up as we noted earlier. Included in the kit is this snap ring, which according to the instructions from ProTaper say is a safety device that slides on the end of the handlebar and ensures that the uh, throttle tube won't slide off. So I'm going to slide the snap ring on the end. It's got a little groove here cut into the bar. They provide this plastic tool to help install the snap ring. You're just going to press it up and into that groove like so. Make sure it's fully seated. Before we install the throttle assembly, we'll slide the boot back onto the bar. Make sure your cable is routed correctly. Kind of get it set on there just like that. Included in the kit is seven different cams, so you got to select which cam is the correct one for your make and model. This one here says KTM 5065, number five. We're going to check it against the stock cam, and it matches up. So that's the one we want to use. This one here is for a Honda 85, so as you can see, the difference in size and profile and the shape of the cam and everything. So we're going to make sure we use the correct cam. The other thing to take note of is when you flip it over, it says this side towards throttle tube. So when you assemble it, you're going to make sure that you flip this side towards the throttle tube. It's got a little notch here. The throttle tube has a notch. Go ahead and assemble them together. When it comes to reinstalling the throttle tube assembly, this is something you'll probably want to handle yourself. Let your kids watch. That way you can make sure everything goes together correctly. So you're going to slide the throttle tube on until it stops. Then set the top half of the housing on. You're going to make sure the housing is on the inside of the snap ring. And put the bottom piece in position. Make sure your throttle tube is working properly, which it is. And then when you go to tighten everything together, you're going to pull the whole assembly outwards so that it stops against that snap ring. And then you can go ahead and install your bottom bolts. Just go ahead and get everything snug, but not too tight. You still want to be able to move everything. Now we can go ahead and install the ferrule into the throttle cam. Just kind of line it up, slide it in there. Nope. Like that. Very nice. Okay. So once you have the throttle cable hooked up, you can go ahead and reinstall the top piece. Make sure it gets that cam so that the throttle cable is around it. Give it a quick check to make sure everything's 
snaps back real good. Turn, turn it in all directions. It's not sticking. So we're good right now. Now we can move on to installing the grips. You want to take note that the smaller hole is for the clutch side and the larger hole is for the throttle side. These are one third waffle grips. So when you install them, you want to make sure that the waffle section is facing downward. That'll give your fingers a good place to grip onto. All right, one thing I should mention, once you have your glue in, you can kind of smush it around on the grip. Make sure it gets all around on the inside. All right, so on the clutch side, we got some glue inside the grip. We'll just go ahead and slide it on. Just be careful, these grips are a little delicate. But you can slide it on, push it all the way up against the end of the bar. You know, let any trapped air out, so pull the ends out a little bit. And then get that waffle section down. You might want to get your kid to put his hands on there so you can see. You know, if they got smaller hands and you want to move the waffle section to where their fingertips are going to be. So kind of go with that for now and we'll work on the other side. So with some glue on the throttle side, slide that on next. Same thing, just kind of slide it in. This one might be a little tighter. So once you have both grips rolled onto the bars, make sure they're lined up and set in the right position for you before you move on to the next step. At this point, you can go back and reference your pictures and make sure all your cables are routed correctly and then you can check your controls and see where they lined up before or you can have your kids sit on the bike and then you can adjust them accordingly. So we'll go ahead and get everything lined up back where we had it and tighten it all down. Once you have everything installed, and adjusted and tightened down. You want to make sure everything's torqued to spec. The last thing we're going to do is install some safety wire on the grips. Now, as I mentioned before, these grips are thinner, so they're quite a bit more delicate than your standard grips. So you want to be careful. You don't want to over tighten the safety wire. On these pro taper grips, you got two locations for safety wire, one on the inside edge and the outside edge of the grip. So that's where we're going to go ahead and do this. Make sure your wire stays in its groove. Bring it down. Grab your safety wire pliers. Give it a couple pulls. Like I said, go slow so you don't over tighten it. You don't want to cut through the grip. Cut the excess off. And then push the tail end up into the grip so it doesn't poke their hand. Okay, and then you're just going to repeat the process three more times. The last thing I wanted to show you, these are the Pro Taper Micro Schoolboy Highs. And when we compare them to the stock bars, you can see that the bends are pretty close. They're a little bit similar in shape and bend and everything. But one thing you will notice is that the Schoolboys are a little bit narrower. So what that'll do is give your child a little bit quicker turning, a little better handling, in addition to the 17 millimeter grip ends which are going to give you better control, more confidence, as Matt said. So you see how easy the installation was. Um, nothing too hard, some basic hand tools. Uh, just take your time, make sure you go over everything real thoroughly and tighten it all down when you're done. As always, thank you for watching and enjoy your ride.